All right, so this is how you take apart the hydraulics if you're going to take this bucket off and hook up another attachment. First you're going to do is before just releasing these, you want to need to release the pressure in the line so it doesn't either spray out on you or it also makes it easier when you're reconnecting. So you're going to take each one and give it several pushes, just like that. And then it comes off. Same with the bottom one, you're going to give it several pushes. That one doesn't give as much. And then to reconnect, you just simply snap it back on and you're good to go. Uh, the most important thing here is if you're going to detach this bucket, you take the hoses off first and then you need to disconnect the hose guard here. Otherwise, what's going to happen is if you disconnect the bucket, disconnect this, this is still connected and then you're going to drag and rip the hoses and that's going to be expensive. Um, you've got multiple grease points here. Um, all are self-explanatory, but you've got one here, one here. They're all visible. One at the bottom of the arm, one at the bottom of this piston. Uh, we've got one even down here that's hidden. Um, up top here in the top piston you've got one here and then same on that side you take a walk to the back you've got here here inside here back arm bottom arm um, you always want to make sure these tracks are tight and don't have a lot of play with them that's about what you need right there if they ever get loose um, just contact us and we'll give you further instructions on how to tighten that. Um, if you walk to the back of the machine, obviously your backup lights, here's your backup camera. Um, open the backup. And here's where you put your diesel fuel. Again, it's not gasoline, it's diesel. If you put gas inside of this thing, it's going to be very expensive for you because uh, it'll ruin the engine. Um, and that pretty much sums up the exterior of it.